Historically, there has been a number of challenges with the healthcare infrastructure in Norway House. It is currently home to the oldest federally owned operated hospital in the entire country. Currently, the infrastructure is serving the health and wellness needs of the community, but we've reached a point now where the health programs and services have far outgrown the infrastructure. And because the facility is so old, a replacement facility is required. I'm really honored to be able to be here today to be able to hear the, the announcement myself firsthand. And I hope that you get the sense of what this all means for our community. To be able to take on a project of this magnitude, but also to be able to have a facility that is going to be coming to our community for us to use into the future. The new health infrastructure is being designed and developed in a manner that will provide the community with a state-of-the-art medical facility that will address the health and wellness needs of the community for decades to come. The federal government felt that this was very much a worthwhile investment in the future health and well-being of the community and the region. And our goal from day one was to establish a fully integrated health center of excellence that would bring all of the community-based programs and services into one building. Lori House is, is a spread out community. We have different parts of uh, workers, employees, and and services. This facility is going to bring all that together uh, and, and so my hope and from what I've experienced is having everyone under the same roof we should be able to have better services uh, and be able to service the community a little better. We're at a point now where we actually have patients that cannot access uh, the programs and services that they require at the community level and therefore are being transported to places like Winnipeg and Thompson to access those services. I think by having the health facility here in Norrie House, uh, once it's operational, it'll go a long way by addressing the health needs of the community. We're, we have a growing population and uh, with that of course comes uh, growing health needs. By having the ability to address their health needs in a facility that's in the home community will go a long way in meeting their uh, social, physical, mental and spiritual needs. We're also in a situation where we have physicians on a waiting list that want to come and live and work in Norway House, but because we don't have the health infrastructure and because we don't have the professional accommodations available, we're actually having to turn healthcare professionals away, which is further escalating the problem that we have. The expansion and development of new professional accommodations will allow for a greater number of physicians and nurses and healthcare professionals to come and live and work in the community. The opportunity to construct a facility made me think what direction does Norway House want to go? And the thoughts and the discussions we had have been geared to becoming a training location. We, we are sitting right in the middle of Manitoba, so be able to have our, our youth, our community members further their education as well as invite others to come you know, and make Norway House uh, their temporary home. The education and training piece is really important of this new healthcare facility. This will just allow further job opportunities and that economic development and capacity building. So this will support stabilizing health services in Norway House, but also support training for people to go work in other Northern First Nations communities in Manitoba and elsewhere. Let me start with the announcement that you've all been waiting for. And I want to say that it gives me tremendous pleasure today on behalf of the Government of Canada to announce an investment of $100 million here for the construction of Norway House Free Nation Health Centre of Excellence. This is truly a tremendous event and a very special day to remember. I am honoured as Minister of Indigenous Services to come here to Norway House Free Nation to be able to announce on behalf of our government $100 million investment for the Norway House Health Centre of Excellence. This is something that the community has been dreaming of, planning for, advocating for, for an extremely long time. And today we are able to come in as a partner to support the development of this facility that's been designed by the community to meet health needs. It's a very big day. It's the largest federal project that's ever been announced for any single community anywhere in the country. That in itself is a historic milestone that uh, the community has been able to achieve. 
and we're very proud of the fact that over the last two and a half, three years, we've been able to work with leadership and other stakeholders at the community level to finally secure this $100 million. You could tell by the reaction of the crowd uh, when she announced it, it was just, oh, it's done, you know, the funding's in place. Now the real work begins, the construction, mobilizing of uh, trades, and the training component comes with that to ensure that once the health center is finished, that we have people in there to operate the facility. When health systems are designed by Indigenous peoples for Indigenous peoples, those health outcome gaps close very quickly. And here in this community, there will be a health system, a health center, programs and services that will be led by the community in a brand new state-of-the-art facility. It will have a huge impact on the health of these peoples, not to mention the wonderful additional benefits of employment as the facility is built and employment and education and training as the facility functions for many years to come. We're also very proud of the fact that we had a number of key stakeholders that took part in the festivities when the funding announcement was made. We had representation from the federal government, of course. The province was there to take part in the announcement as well. We had LM Architectural Group, who have been a key partner over the last two and a half years through the design and development of this project. We also had the University of Manitoba. So it was great to have all of our key stakeholder partners take part in the day and witness the historic announcement that was made by Minister Phil Pot. Aboriginal people said this, what Aboriginal people need is straightforward. Three things. Control over their own lives in the place of the well-meaning but ruinous paternalism of past Canadian governments. Number two, lands, resources, and self-chosen governments with which to construct social, economic, and political order. And number three, time space and respect from all of Canada to heal their spirits and revitalize their cultures. What we're seeing here today is self-determination in action. Today's announcement shows the strength, resilience, the capacity of Norway House Cree Nation to create a state-of-the-art facility to deliver care and to be a beacon of light and hope for the nation. Merci beaucoup. Chi miigwech.